everybody it's Michael from getfitover40.com and uh, today's video is what's in my gym bag I've seen other guys make videos about what's in their gym bag then you know this, these aren't super exciting videos but sometimes people want to know what kind of stuff I cart around what do I take to the gym with me um, I might give you a few little tips that might help you it might save you some time there's one really big tip I'm gonna give you guys when it comes to choosing your gym bag that I think can save you hours of your life, maybe even days of your life over the course of the amount of time you might spend in a gym. If you think of all the times, you know, if you're working out four or five days a week and you're going in and out of your gym bag all the time, this one little thing can save you, I don't know, I mean, a lot of frustration and a lot of time. We'll get into that in a sec, so you might have to wait for that. So, all right, first off, the bag itself. Um, this is my gym bag. I just got this one recently. I've had other, big, other gym bags. Usually I go for the black bag. I went for the black bag again. I like black. It doesn't show dirt so much, right? You can get it dirty. I do like the, the, the blue piping. This bag is from is a filler bag. I think that's how you say it. It's kind of got a, this neat sort of um, nylon texture, right? You can see that. Pretty cool, right? It's got all the straps and everything. But what I really like about this bag that drew me to it, and this is the tip, the big tip, okay. Look at what color it is inside. It's like this fluorescent greeny yellow inside the whole bag. The whole bag is that color. And why is this important? Because literally, oh, this is embarrassing, gloves. This shouldn't be inside my gym bag. I used to use gloves a long time ago, but then I realized how embarrassing it was and uh, I don't really use gloves anymore. Now, that said, if you're like a hand model or something, you might wanna wear gloves. I'm not a hand model. Those gloves are gone, okay. You almost get used to certain things in your gym bag. You almost forget they're there. That's one of them, I don't need them. Okay, so, but what I'm trying to say here is like everything or a lot of gym wraps and straps and gloves and like these types of things and belts and everything is like black. Knee sleeves have a lot of black in them. So if you got a black bag and you're digging around in there trying to find something and everything's black, it's just, it's totally frustrating. It's really hard to find stuff in the bag. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna go with this fluorescent, interior fluorescent bag and I'll be able to uh, find my stuff. And because of that, it's been so much easier. Okay, so you gotta have a towel, right? Let's move on here. You gotta have a towel. I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. You, you gotta wipe up after yourself a little bit, you know, wipe off the sweat. I'm not a super sweaty guy, but sometimes I get sweatier than other times. I like to have wrist straps, right? So these are my wrist straps. And uh, you know, some people kind of will say, oh, what are you using wrist straps for? And they're saying, you know what, you're babying out, you, you should be using your grip strength. But the reality is, is I don't want to um, have my hands give out before the muscle I'm trying to train give out. And to be fair, I'm often doing double the weight I see other people doing in the gym. So. My, my wrists and tendons and my wrists and all that just can't keep up with the weight that I'm doing. When I'm doing pull-ups, like when I'm doing pull-downs and whatnot, I'm often doing the whole stack. When I'm doing deadlifts, I'm often doing close to 400 pounds for, for sets of 10 or so, right? So that's hard to hold onto the bar. Uh, rows, things like that, I will definitely use hand grips like this for that type of stuff or, or straps like that, just because my hands and my wrists, the, my grip is the first thing that gives out. Okay, so I always have those. And because it's such an important thing, straps, I have a backup set, just because sometimes you'll lose one. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You'll get to the gym and you can't find your second strap and then you're like, how are you gonna, how are you gonna do it with one strap? So I, I have a backup set. Okay, so we're just, there's no particular order of importance. Knee sleeves for when I do things like squats, mainly it's like squats maybe, sometimes I use it in leg press, sometimes I use it in deadlifts, but mostly for squats. I do have my squatting shoes, okay? Back in my old CrossFit days, I have these squatting shoes and it gives you a little bit of a lift on the back right, which gives you a little bit better um, angle of the, of the bottom of your leg, which is, pushes a little forward, which helps with squatting. So I pretty much only use these for squats when I'm doing like barbell squats or something. Um, okay, we've got these wrist wraps. Some of these are wrist wraps, right? And they go around your wrist and you just wrap them around. I don't really use these much anymore. When I was doing more of the powerlifting um, CrossFit stuff, 
and we were doing a lot of that heavy powerlifting stuff. I was using them more. Now that I'm in the gym more and I do a lot of accessory work, I don't find that my wrists um, have a problem with things like bench press, shoulder press. I don't even do a lot of barbell shoulder press anymore. Um, and I even don't do a lot of, of barbell bench press. About the only thing where they might come in handy is when I'm doing a squat and I get my hands back here. It helps my wrist a little bit, but I haven't really been having a problem with my wrists. So I haven't been using them, but they're there just in case. This is super important. I will double back and go home if I forgot my heart rate monitor. This is my Polar H7 heart rate monitor. It goes around my chest. It's a chest strap and it monitors my heart. I use the record app on my, on my Apple, uh, using my Apple Watch and iPhone. And I record all of my workouts, all my heart rate activity, which gives me all my calories and everything. That's super important. You gotta have some sort of uh, water going on, right? So I always have this and it's usually full of BCAAs when I work out, maybe a little bit of creatine. And uh, of course, a weight belt. And uh, this is one of those powerlifting style ones. And right now, I'm a little chunky, so I just kind of wear it loose. I just basically put this on, I don't even tighten it, and it just gives me um, something to push against so that my stomach doesn't get extended too much. I'm not worried about you know getting, a, getting some sort of, a, what do they call them, um, hernia, right? I, I don't have, I'm not pr problematic for hernias, but I figure if I'm pushing against something like this, I'm gonna not hopefully have any of those problems. It just gives me something to push against. It's not so much that it's tight, it just feels better when I'm doing things like squats and deadlifts. All right, so we got some pockets on these guys. This pocket, I've got just sort of some extra stuff. I got my uh, suntan glasses that I use when I do the tanning beds. Usually I only tan when I'm, when I'm leading up to a competition. I don't really use this one much, but it's an emergency protein powder. It's already pre, it's already pre powdered in the bottle, measured out. So all I gotta do is add water. So if I'm you know, feeling like I need some protein in a hurry, we're good to go. I have some, uh, these are um, energy, these are pre-workouts. And so um, I've actually run out of my pre-workout in my bottle, so I'll just sort of re resort to these guys and I'll use some pre-workout when I need to. Um, gotta have some de deodorant, right? You don't wanna run, you don't wanna be stinking up the gym just in case you, you didn't put it on, slap it on heavy enough or at all in the morning, just in case, right? Or after your workout, if you're not gonna run home and have a quick shower, but you don't wanna offend anybody, um, I bring a pen. I have a pen in there. Just I don't know why. Just sometimes it's nice to have an old school pen, right? Actually, write something down on paper. I right, take it out of the bag. All right. I don't think there's anything in this pocket. This pocket is just kind of like it's a pocket where you can put your um, your sweaty, stinky clothing in. So I just leave it empty. And if I guess I want to put something stinky in there, I can. Uh, my last pocket or area um, is. The area where I keep my wallet, my keys, right? I keep it in here, it zips up. I, I like to keep things in certain areas so I can find them. So I keep that in this pocket here. And I also have my audio, all my electronics. I don't want it, I don't want it bouncing around with everything else. So I have my, my Beats, ear, my uh, wireless ear, Beats earbuds. I might do a review on these things. These are fantastic. These are the, the wireless uh, Beats, what are they? Power Beats 2. These things are the best earbuds I've ever had. I mean, they're just fantastic. And uh, they fit really good, they sound really good, they have good uh, range, they, they don't get any interference, they got decent battery life. Just in case I forget to charge them, I have my JLab earbuds as well, um, just because I like to have music. And I like these ones, they sound really good, I've done a review on them, but they just don't fit in my ears um, as snugly as they should, so they tend to keep working out a bit. The whole workout, they're always working out of my ears and every time they get kind of out a little bit, you lose all the bass, feel like they're gonna fall out and it's a little distracting. So that is what's in my gym bag. And now literally there's nothing in my gym bag, it's on the floor, but that's what, uh, that's what I take to the gym. I carry my gym bag around in the gym everywhere I go, it's like a security blanket in the gym. You know, I usually put my phone on top of here when I'm doing my sets and stuff. Um, you know, it's always with me because I always like to have this stuff and I don't want to carry a bunch of stuff in my pockets. Um, you know, it just keeps it all in one place. I'm not going to lose anything. I'm not going to have anything get stolen from me if I leave it in a locker. So I highly recommend you get yourself a gym bag of some sort. This is a kind of a big one. You don't necessarily need as big a gym bag, but something um, that's decent quality 
again, that maybe has a bright interior so that you don't um, have a lot of difficulty finding your stuff. That's a big tip that I think will save you a lot of time. I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. All right, thanks for watching another Get Fit Over 40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Also, come on down to getfitover40.com. Check out my website there, too. I usually have some, some sort of written article that goes along with my videos there, all that kind of stuff. So thanks for supporting me. We'll talk to you next time.